taking a liking to me listen i like interest up front i recommend that you see interest up front some kind of like oh i'm interested up front i don't want a person that grows up to like me now there are possibilities there are exceptions to the rule right people can grow to like you absolutely right i'm just saying that has to align with other positive signals right but that by itself is a negative signal if somebody comes back to kind of like you after they ghosted you for two months yeah i would be very very weary about that i'll be very very careful about that you know so yeah um and these are sizable books they are minimum 200 pages uh, you can download them absolutely for free uh, by simply going to for example this one you just go to get my marriage back.com smart real estate wholesaling.com uh, real estate money secrets.com so yes i am a three times author and those books are out there for your for your consumption and they are also available everywhere on amazon anywhere that you pick up books so in case you prefer a physical book like that yes yeah, so back to um now we're gonna jump right into delicious and raymond santana i think that's his name and i wanted to watch this short clip um i stumbled into them you know i watch reality tv shows quite a bit with my wife you know because it's it's one of the ways that we spend time together we just relax we don't have to overthink i think the only serious show that we watch together is uh maybe power all the power series right uh the ghost and all this kind of stuff power Bo broker power Bro uh, is it power broker something like that you know but anyway yeah we try to stay on i think we also watch oval on on bt those are the only serious shows everything else we kind of like just want to relax we can jump in on any scene and it's still dramatic as shit <laughs> right so but anyway um let me share this video with you uh let's go into this video a uh, short video and uh the credit of this video goes to uh vh1 we're using it in fair use. delicious i got you all right i know what i got yeah. Mm -hmm. I told you we had to do it again, and it like, okay. once we get in, mm -hmm. it's a little slow. So you I get mean, excited. Yeah, then you be like, come on, get the mm -hmm. my right there. Mm -hmm. Let's go, buddy. That's why it's been so mm -hmm. yeah. I'm still going right there. I need you to hit it just like that. <laughs> All right, so like I said, that's delicious right there, and uh, she's um. We stumbled into her years ago during the Flavor of Love things. You know, she was one of the contestants uh, struggling to to love uh, <laughs> Flavor Flavor Flav. And uh, you know, since then she's basically been an IG model. She's been reality TV shows a few times over and over. And this guy is one of the Central Five uh, story uh, exonerated for being accused wrongly, and then he won eight million dollars. He won eight million dollars right uh from winning the i think there's a lawsuit uh but that's 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 their story right there and then they run into each other about i don't know some few years back they've been married for two years uh through another reality tv star you know singer turned reality tv star candy boros and um they got married you know after he was ghosted for two months straight so that's actually the first lesson right there right now being ghosted and a girl coming back to you is not the absolute doesn't really mean anything in the absolute standpoint right but that would be a red flag for me right especially if this is uh, some kind of ig model she you know and then suddenly she came back and then we're like yeah that would be a red flag you know especially um if i have some kind of uh uh short-term success like you know like being hit with the eight million dollars windfall right uh there are multiple reasons why those things that that doesn't mix together right there right that doesn't mix together right there's also some clips of this young lady on the internet talking about it's stupid that if you're an ig model you can't be a wife material it's not stupid it's not stupid at all and it's not an absolute either it's basically what it means is that there's a highly there's a high likelihood that you cannot be an effective wife if you spent the 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 better part of your adult life being an ig model is highly unlikely it's like being a, a stripper there's nothing wrong with being a stripper how you doing just jay welcome all right 
Uh, and uh, shout out to John Rambo. I'm not sure if he's still hanging out with us. What, what up? What up? What up? All right. So yeah. So um, this it's not an there's no absolutes in life, right? So yes, a stripper can become a wife, but that would be the exception to the likelihood. It's highly unlikely that a person who has spent the better part, most part of their adult life being a stripper being uh you know being a person who makes money from attention on instagram as in literally your body and all this kind of stuff it's not particularly the body it's about we know that this this kind of lifestyle comes with certain things such it's a certain type of lifestyle and it's very it's very unlikely that i miss you too <laughs> yeah it's very unlikely that that you'll be able to sustain what it takes to nurture a long-term relationship. A long-term relationship is highly rewarding, but in the beginning, it can feel very, very uh, demanding, right? Because it's another human being that you're dedicating your life to and vice versa. And oftentimes, th things can come from a place where it feels unfair, right? And I always tell people, if you're in a position where you feel like you're competing against your partner, you're going to lose. It doesn't matter if you're the man or the woman, right? If you're feeling way too much like you're competing always, like you feel like things are unfair, and you don't find uh, a way to consolidate that uh, very quickly, you're going to feel like things are unfair, and you're going to self-sabotage and destroy that relationship, and you'll be right, all right? Because you feel how you feel, and no one can discount how you feel, right? And you may feel like you're, and rightfully so, you may actually feel like you're being smothered to death, that you feel like your mental health is involved. You may start to feel that way. So relationships that involves just two people for long term is, can be, can, can feel very demanding in the beginning. It's highly rewarding. I'm speaking from experience. It's been 15 years for me. It's highly rewarding. I enjoy every bit of it. But in the beginning, uh, you're going to have moments that will test you uh if you're like most human beings how, how much more if you've lived a better part of your adult life by yourself and somehow some guy is going to come into your life or some girl is going to come into your life and demand uh a certain level of uh, attention that you start to feel like uh who are you right it's just the human brain the way the human brain works it's something that you really have to build a lot of muscles around so if she's she was like 40 she's like 44 right now and then uh, suddenly she thought she became a wife, right? And to me, things like this are extremely obvious. Like you were, if you win and you become, like for example, a person that looks like they're winning on the outside right now is Candy Boros of uh, Escape, and she's still a reality star. She looks like she's winning, but if you if you watched her on TV a little bit, you know that she kind of has she has the character that would take to fight and potentially win doesn't mean she's gonna win there's no absolutes even myself right there's no absolutes right but we're talking about this is we're talking about there are chances it's a likelihood we can see behavioral patterns we can see certain lifestyle and it's highly unlikely that you're going to succeed in long-term relationship and unfortunately both not just delicious both delicious and raymond santana falls in that category for delicious again she's what a lot of people in uh, a lot of men in this youtube streets will call for the streets right i try i try to avoid this language but it is what it is right for the streets mean you're for the world the whole world gets uh, you know you make money from give, getting attention from the rest of the world right a lot from a lot from the world right as a woman right especially when it involves your body your body image and stuff like that right she's exactly that nice body curves and all of that right uh, basically you can imagine that a lot of men spend time consuming our image online now in addition to that she's been also um she's 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 a lot of people's access as far as at least the news stands are concerned right we don't know the truth about these people's life all we can see is what we can see and you know where there's smoke there's fire these things tends to be true right now for this guy there's a guy who spent a lot of time in jail let's see let in fact let's go look at uh let's look at the news right here right so um here's the headline from yahoo news i don't want her in my future voice she said in my future voice i don't want her right Raymond santana jr has filed for the show he filed for divorce so for again as usual in these streets you usually hear things like divorce 80 percent of divorces are filed for by women 
yes, we know that as data statistics, but it's not real time data, right? And one of the places where people fail is that they don't realize that the, being a student of relationship is the closest you can get to having real time data. This kind of lessons. That's why this platform is very important. Everyone else will regurgitate data. I will show you real time what is going on. So here's another example of yes, uh, men do file for divorce. Now, with that being said, that doesn't negate the data. But the problem with regurgitating data is because when you hear the data so much, you start to make it a truth in your mind. You're human like the rest of us. It starts to become the absolute truth in your mind. And, and none of this stuff is absolute. Not only do we know that there are reasons why people file for divorce long before the divorce was filed. Like there's, there's all kind of drama that happened before that. There's no data for that, right? We only know the data of when the trigger was pulled, right? But again, this is one of the twenty percent. At least we know, right? So let's 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 look a little closer into this news right here. So Raymond Santana Jr. Uh, has filed for divorce, right? And um, let me just uh, let's see. I'm gonna read it to you. Uh, from Delicious, claps back at alleged side piece. Okay. So the first news that broke out, I'll show you that first news. I think she says something about she's married to a narcissist, right? Now, we have an article, my wife and I have an article on nolanola.com. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. We have, we put out articles heavily on nola and nolanola.com. Uh, if you go under the blog, okay. We're not, no, I'm not a fly-by-night content creator, just so you know. I've been creating content since 2009. Just in case you're just getting to know me because of the manosphere or because of Tariq Nasheed News and all this craziness. There's a lot that we have going on here, right? I think we have a, let's see here. Let me see if I can find it. Narcissist. Okay, it's my husband, a narcissist. This article right here, right? So we find that a lot of women these days are very quick. And there's a quiz here, right? There's a little short quiz that you can actually take uh, to see if a person is a narcissist, right? But there's an article right behind, below it, right? And uh, these are the common behaviors of a narcissist. Exerting control over others. Uh, talking about how powerful or self-important self -important they are, making fun of other people, right? That those are, but there are some actual things like uh, a, a pattern of grandiosity, right? Like grandiose behavior, right? There has to be a few things before you can. Uh, not only that, in addition to that, you have to have a professional who's actually licensed in order to diagnose anybody uh, a narcissist or to have the. Uh, disorder right but uh the mpd the narcissistic personality disorder but what we find these days is that people are self-diagnosing their partners <laughs> they self-diagnose each other and then they wonder why they struggle in relationships right so she accused what well, the news broke out because she accused him of oh yeah i found out i'm married to a narcissistic uh gloves of something something to that effect i'm gonna find it let me see if i can find it I'll see if I can find it later, but let's see here. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to find it. There's a statement. I'm going to actually Google it. Uh, delicious. Uh, narcissist. Something about a narcissist. We'll find it. Okay, she calls. There you go. Is that the one here? There's a tweet. All right, this is it right here. All right. So she goes, I am I married a narcissist who is a complete liar and a cheat. This is what everyone saw first, right? Because she's more popular than him, right? And I'm finally ready to speak my truth. Stay tuned. And she goes, hashtag gloves off, right? Now, if you know anything about life, even if you're about to become ex with the person, right? The last thing you want to do is to fight them what you really want to do is to make sure that you go your separate ways in a very healthy manner as healthy as possible it's okay that relationships don't last it's absolutely okay listen it's 2022 and you really can't afford to hang on to your ideologies from the past or the past of the past or your idea of marriage listen i'm married for 15 years and i like to keep it that way and i encourage other people to do it okay however let's not keep, take the take the hat stop the cap we live in a different era okay and the standards of the way it works is not how it's going to work because obviously women are a little bit more enlightened or have choices 
than they used to have. And what that means that if you want to remain a leader as a man in this society, in your family, you need to ascend to a different level of leadership skills. A lot of that's going to involve emotional and social skills. It's actually the majority of it. It's not your IQ. It's not your stupid IQ. It's not your ability to regurgitate data and empirical data. It's not. The more you're actually, what I found is that the more you're able to do those things, the, the more you can't, you, the, the more your inability is to maintain a long-term relationship. Okay. All right. So just wanted to uh, keep you, uh, let you understand that. But here are the lessons from this, because I don't want to long win this lesson too much, right? Like I said, the windfall money. This guy got hit with $8 million. He never really learned life. He was in jail for the longest, right? And then got exonerated. So let's let's just read a little bit of this. Of the, Raymond Santana of the Central Park Five has officially filed divorce from his wife of nearly two years, Delicious. They are part, they are, the pair met on over Instagram in 2019. You know, I guess they met in person through Candy. Uh, Candy eventually, they attempted to strengthen their relationship on VH1 series. That's the video clip I showed you earlier. Uh, in fact, if you watch that show, it's called the Couples Retreat. Couples Retreat tend to be <laughs> terrible, <laughs> right? They tend to be uh, extremely terrible uh, because uh, here's why: because people usually go there to argue. I, rec- I pers- my wife and I always recommend go to individual therapy much more than we recommend couples therapy couples therapy is to is to basically spice things up okay it's not where you go when things have already broken okay if things are already broken and you go to couples therapy you're going to waste money and you're going to end up just arguing for no reason and you waste that money it's over you you end up creating even more reasons to resent each other right you (laughs) exactly right It, it everyone is a professional everyone is a professional and that's the reason why people are struggling with relationships right they they self-diagnose each other they diagnose their husband they call, they're very quick to call their husband narcissist the the husbands are very quick to call their wife the modern woman the, whatever language they use for the streets all this kind of stuff people are diagnosing each other uh and they're putting all that energy and en- energy is neither created or destroyed you either put all that energy in the right place or you put so much energy in the wrong direction right if you put so much energy in diagnosing the other person what about the accountability part self-accountability part right where actually that's where the majority of your leverage point lies being able to look in the mirror and adjust so that you can put some energy put some effort in building yourself so you can attract the right type of love to yourself but people of course uh they do it in the beginning they do it at the end and everything in between and there's very little energy that's put into self-work okay but anyway i digress so uh on the show on couples retreats i I saw them the guy was very awkward he he seems very socially awkward like a lot of these guys on youtube that i see on youtube seems very socially awkward they know they're very smart kids they know all of the data you can't win when it comes to data but when it comes to being able to relate with human beings they suck balls and it gets very obvious very quickly right i got a lot to cover today i don't want to dwell on this right but anyway it's 47 years old contends is married with the reality star irretrievably broken with no hope of reconciliation right that that's vague right <laughs> but i know what that means uh basically there's no chance it doesn't look it's never looked like there was a chance there I, i'm just being uh, being being honest with you right so uh this was the caption this was the first thing that the that uh the shade room captured right but this was obvious right this was very obvious and then after that i think there was some guy who actually released a video and uh, released some kind of clip with uh, secret lover or something like that but anyway the bottom line is is these are people a lot of, it's not just celebrities that are doing this there are no more people doing this the more you're engaged with the manosphere talking point the higher the chances that you will not be able to make it in real life relationships okay the more you are engaged listen uh, listen you may say this is just online this is my personal life no bullshit okay let me tell you something i'm talking about myself as well okay i'm talking about myself i have to literally regulate how much time i spend on this youtube street and in clubhouse 
because we're human beings we're spiritual beings and the data that we're regurgitating or that we're hearing will eventually become the truth there was a gentleman that i really respect a lot when i hear him on the streets i'm going to play a video later on uh, uh from the wana chica uh, platform uh from my sister to Wana's platform and i respect a lot of his point but he made a complete mess of himself on the show on the last show on Tawana's show i'm gonna play it and i literally cover everybody's face and i just reveal Tawana's face to promote her platform because i think she has a fantastic platform that where these conversations can continue right but i could just hear that okay he's starting to believe a lot of things that he's hearing another example is chicago rilla if you're familiar with the Lapif network, Chicago Rila was a guy who was kind of well-centered. He's not on either side, right? But eventually he start to hear the same thing over and he start to believe it. And listen, it's like the Bible. You can find verses in the Bible to support any bullshit. It's the same thing with all of the data out there. You can find data that supports your bullshit. And if you spend too much time around it, you may end up starting to believe some bullshit just letting you know okay so anyway uh let's see here uh i guess she posted most of no one deserves the pain that comes with a narcissist so this is you hear a lot of ladies do this okay so people want to say hey i don't hold women accountable here no 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 i don't hold any human being that's an adult accountable i don't do that i hold myself accountable and i stop right there okay um if you go through my channels like my my comments right there's a lot of people that tend to want to be abusive or they're trolls and stuff i don't sit down there and hold them accountable these are adults i don't do that it's the waste of my energy it's, i don't have the bandwidth for that when i get on panels once in a while which i do either i'm invited or it's just you know maybe once every three four weeks or so i don't engage bullshits argument emotionalism i don't there's no bandwidth for it and I'm, I'm saying that to make a point here that listen i don't hold adults accountable the only thing like the best way to hold them accountable is to hold myself accountable and when i show up into this marketplace i attract the energy i attract and i'm influencing people effectively either they like it they realize it or not i am actively influencing them and that's the only value i can bring into the space as a matter of fact, me creating a channel around you, I'm going to be very straight up with you. This is purely a money move, okay? It just so happened that I can align it with bringing some real value. And I believe that the, mo the best money you're going to make in any platform, in any industry, uh, it's only sustainable when you bring real value okay so you can see people run from one illuminati to the other they're trying to create alliance because they want to build a youtube channel it fails because they don't have real content to bring it's the same thing with people that just want to regurgitate news actually news is actually better because at least we know that there's real value of entertainment attached to trendy news right it's actually better than kissing balls all over youtube yes there's some real shots that i just threw right there okay anyway i'm currently dealing with it the mask this man wears so she's generalizing people that generalize are people that are coming from a place of pain or people that have come from a place of pain and they haven't taken the time to heal okay this man you hear men say it a lot this woman if that comes out of your mouth a lot just start reading yourself if you say this woman this man a lot there is a good chance <laughs> that you are regurgitating bullshit okay there's a good chance that you're spending very little time on working on your ability your social and emotional abilities and skills okay they come in dressed as everything you pray and then turn into everything you never wanted they've always they're always the victim and so doesn't mean there's no truth in this but it but it's not absolute truth that's also mixed up with your own bullshit. you get the point <laughs> all right but anyway i'm not gonna read that but you get the gist here you get the gist here let me see what my sister is saying here yeah my wife and i enjoy marriage book camp actually we review it on our lola and ola channel uh quite a bit uh because it's marriage related and we just talk about that together yeah yeah absolutely yeah so anyway so that's 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 the lesson uh let me see if i have a main lesson make sure i don't miss it out right windfall money if you get hit with windfall money as a man 
you haven't learned how to handle money money is like the devil it's like relationships it's double-edged sword it's to destroy you if you are if you don't build it slow and steady there's nothing wrong with windfall i'm just saying if you got windfall money you better have some real life professionals around you to help you manage that money because it's gonna leave at the same speed if not double the speed that it came into your life it's the same thing with your building relationships if you're too much in a hurry and you don't get to know people or you're too much in a hurry to get into answers by using data right uh you're going to self-destruct your relationships everything that's worthwhile in life is a function of time and patience it's undefeated okay undefeated i'm going to keep showing you real life examples and you will see it over it doesn't matter how smart you are it doesn't matter how much data you're able to regurgitate if you don't take your time to get to know people on an individual case-by-case -case level if you are looking for fast answer with aggregated data you will fail at life all the time and the data will be correct you will be right but you will fail you will create failure as opposed to results okay as a, in terms of results you will create failure as opposed to success all right so um he moved in with her in the beginning Wait, there's no absolute that that's always wrong, but that's tendency that you're not a man on your own purpose. It's a good, it's a highly likelihood that you're not a man on your purpose if you're moving in with a woman within this social construct. 70 years from now, it may be different, but right now, uh, it's still an indicator that you're not a man that's moving in purpose, okay? She never left the streets, whatever that means. She never left the streets. How could she leave the street? If you engage in a relationship with a person and you're expecting them to leave the street for you, that's a good chance that you were not a man on your purpose. So, the, so, so we're going to point that finger right back at you. You continue to be the issue as the man because you are the leader, either you realize it or not. Okay. And the more you try to play catch up or the more you try to, what do you call it? The more you try to, the more you try to compete with her, the more you fail. Because you're not the same you're not equal you're not you're never you're not the same period okay you're especially within the social construct maybe again 50 70 years from now things will consolidate and men and women will become equal from a social standpoint maybe but if you operate with that rule right now you will still fail okay because it's just not true and it's just not the reality okay uh let me see here he was ghosted for two months before she came back yeah i would use that as red flag or i would be extremely careful again no absolutes but if somebody ghosts me for two months and then they came back and suddenly they want me maybe they found out some kind of information about me and they, they or they start taking a liking to me listen i like interest up front i recommend that you see interest up front some kind of like oh i'm interested up front i don't want a person that grows up to like me now there are possibilities there are exceptions to the rule right People can grow to like you, absolutely, right? I'm just saying that has to align with other positive signals, right? But that by itself is a negative signal. If somebody comes back to kind of like you after they ghosted you for two months, yeah, I would be very, very weary about that. I'll be very, very careful about that, you know? So, yeah. Um,